Steve, thank you. I knew I could count on you. Yes, I promise I will call you as soon as I know anything. Bye. That was Steve Hardy. He wants you back at work, huh? Yes, he does. But he also understands that my place is here with you until all this business with Lucy is settled. Well, this business with Lucy should be settled by this afternoon. I'm sure the judge is going to dismiss all charges in light of Sarah's confession. And that's what I told Steve. And once they explained the situation to him, he decided he's going to give Lucy her job back when all the legal complications are settled. That's nice. You didn't have to do that. But I wanted to. Honey, I really am willing to admit that I was wrong about Lucy. And I'd like to go to the courthouse with you today. Why? Because I can talk to the judge and I can explain to him how wrong we all were about Lucy. That really won't be necessary, sweetheart. Oh, honey, I really want to. I mean, first of all, it's going to help me to release all of my guilt and it's going to show you how wrong I was never to trust your daughter. Bobby, I would really rather not get involved in this. Good morning, Mr. and Ms. Meyer. Hi. Hi. Maybe I'll ask you later. Okay. Hey, Jake, you going to the courthouse today? Yeah, yeah, I got to be there any minute, as a matter of fact. You mind giving me a ride down there? I got some, some paperwork and reports to fill out. Would that be all right? Not at all. You mind waiting outside for a minute? I'll be right out. that surrogate mother we used to get Gretchen? Yeah. I guess I have it around here somewhere. Why? Because we're going to need it. We're moving ahead with our lives, Bobby Meyer. And that means our marriage. And that means getting what we want most. Our child. Oh, Jake. I love you. I love you, <laughs> you don't have to say a word. I can tell just looking at you, everything went well. Not only did Jake understand about Gretchen changing her mind, but he wants me to run an ad to find a new surrogate mother. What are we waiting for? Let's find that classified directory. It's done. It's going to be in the morning's edition. Oh, honey, I'm just so pleased for you. I hate to say I told you so, but I knew Jake was going to behave exactly the way he did. I guess I just didn't have you all confident. <laughs> oh, by the way, did Jake ever get to tell you what he was trying to tell you? No, as a matter of fact, there wasn't time. But it doesn't matter. Nothing matters except that I feel like I am married to the most wonderful man in the world. <laughs> You're not going to get an argument out of me. And once we get our baby, nothing oh. is ever going to come between us again. I would like to remind the court that uh, Miss Coe's unfortunate decision to flee poor Charles was not because she was guilty of anything. It was because she was afraid. And I think we all can understand the power fear can have over us. It causes us to cloud our judgment, causes us to make irrational judgments. The sworn testimony of Sarah Simon clearly indicates that Miss Coe is just another one of her victims. One of the few that luckily escaped with her life. Objection, Your Honor. Uh, yeah, wait a minute, Counselor. What about the assault on her attorney, Mr. Meyer? Surely Miss Coe had something to do with that attack. Um, Your Honor, could I answer that? By all means. Thank you. Um, mm -hmm. I, I would like to make something very clear here. I, I did not know that Sarah planned to harm Jake, Mr. Meyer, in any way. I would have never gone along with any kind of plan like that if, if I had known. Y you see, Mr. Meyer has been my sole supporter throughout this entire ordeal. I would rather return to jail than do anything that would cause harm or embarrassment to Mr. Meyer. Thank you, Your Honor. Oh, thank you, Ms. Go. Uh, Detective Jones, do you have those reports I requested? Yes, Your Honor. I have my report along with the report from the Nashville Police Department. Good. Uh, will you collect the reports from Detective Jones, please? And, uh... Thank you. Well, 
Well, everything seems to be in order. I'm ready to make my decision. Please rise and face the bench. The court has decided to drop all charges against you, Miss Cope. Now, you and your attorney have adequately demonstrated your innocence in all mentioned criminal acts, so you are hereby released from all prospective custody. Um, the bailiff will instruct the court to release the bail bond. Thank you. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Thank you for your cooperation. Mr. Meyer, I'd like you to wait and read the release papers before they're filed. Certainly, Your Honor. Case is dismissed, and this court is adjourned. All right. Yeah. All right, Jake. Very nice. Thank you. I told you it would happen, Lucy. You're a free woman. Thanks, Sam. Believe me. I'm just drawing my support so late. No, it's uh, better late than never. Congratulations, Lucy. Glad it worked out. Thank you. All right, let's get out of here. Good time for something. Yeah, that's right. Just a second. I don't think there's much left to say to each other, Lucy. Well, we really didn't have much of a chance before court started. Um, did you tell Bobby? No, Lucy, I didn't. And I decided not to. Well, I think you made the right decision. Well, I'm not very proud of myself for it, but uh, certain circumstances dictated that I make that decision. Well, whatever the reasons, I'm very glad you didn't, because I do not want to be responsible for any more unhappiness, especially after all you've done for me. Lucy, I'm going to be honest with you. Take some of your own advice. Forget the past. There just is no room in my life for lies and deceit, particularly with Bobby, but you can make it very easy for me. You can do me a favor. Stay out of our lives. Jake, that's going to be awfully hard to do. Bobby and I work together. I, we're bound to run into well, each we're other. We're just now. going to have to deal with that, aren't we? You're the one who's been believing in me all this time, and now you're sounding like everybody else in this town. Lucy, I, I believe you didn't murder anyone. You have a particular talent for creating an image of yourself of being a treacherous woman. That has not changed. I'm sorry, Lucy. Do not consider me a friend of yours. Mr. Meyer, the judge is ready to meet with you, sir. Thank you. I'm on my way in. I want you to understand something, Lucy. When I turn these signed papers over to the judge, my responsibility to you is over. You should be ashamed of yourself. What kind of behavior is that for the chairman of the hospital board? What has Steve Hardy found out? I have half a mind to tell him myself. This is Quartermain. Edward. Dr. Newman. How are you? Why, I've, uh, I've, uh, see, ah, uh, here, I've heard about all the trouble you've been causing. Well, uh, I'm a man of action. Mm -hmm. You can't expect me to be confined to a sick bed. Mm -hmm. How does it look? All healed. That is, unless you've, uh, persuaded him to hold me here for another week. <laughs> punishment. <laughs> Keeping you here for another week would be cruel and unusual punishment for the hospital staff. Mm -hmm. And the patient. Hot dog, back to home. <laughs> Edward is the only man I know that takes great pleasure in alienating an entire hospital. When can I go? Anytime you like. I'll see that the necessary paperwork is processed. Oh, thank you, Doctor. I can't wait to get Edward home. Well, don't get any ideas about spoiling him, Lila, because he doesn't deserve it. Come on, Lila. Let's blow this pop stand.